Farrell hasn't slowed down since leaving Saturday Night Live five years ago. He's now one of Hollywood's kings of comedy, and his latest hit is out on DVD today. People Magazine assistant managing editor and early show entertainment contributor Jess Cagle has details. Good morning, Jess. Hi there, Harry. Now, Blades of Glory follows a long-standing Will Ferrell tradition. The comedy comes first. No matter how silly, he looks doing it. Let me show you the future of fashion. Let me show you Derelict! With his over-the-top role in Zoolander, movie audiences first took notice and fell in love with him. Hey, honey! Hey! What the hell are you doing? We're streaking! We're going up through the quads of the gymnasium! Who's streaking? There's... there's more coming! But his first post-SNL movie role as Frank the Tank in Old School made Farrell a certified movie star. Okay, people, Santa's coming to town. Santa! Oh, my God! I know him. I know him. Followed that with his biggest hit to date. In Elf, Farrell plays a man raised on the North Pole who comes to New York searching for his real family. I'm not a baby. I'm a man. I am an anchor man. You are not a man. You are a big fat joke. I'm a man who discovered the wheel and built the Eiffel Tower out of metal and brawn. And, the and a year later, he introduced the world to Anchorman, the legend of Ron Burgundy. Yep, I'm flying through the air. This is not good. Ah, I'm on fire. You're on fire. You're not on fire, Ricky Bobby. And NASCAR racing will never be the same after Talladega Nights, the ballad of Ricky Bobby. My hump, my hump, my lovely lady hump. I'm not skating to anything with references to lady humps. I don't even know what that means. No one knows what it means, but it's provocative. In Blades of Glory, Farrell plays figure skater Chaz Michael Murray, whose main competition is a younger skater played by John Heater. We have a fist fight. We tie for the gold medal. Yeah. Uh, we don't like each other. We have a fist fight on the medal stand. Yeah, and, and get kicked out of the sport. Yeah. Lifetime ban, only to find a loophole. That loophole allowed them to become a skating pair's team. Preparing for the roles instantly bonded Farrell and Heater. We both had to learn skating, so mm -hmm. it was kind of this weird experience where, okay, we met each other, but it was also like, oh my gosh, what did we get ourselves into? This is so hard. Let's capture the dream. The film became Farrell's latest $100 million hit. I have no idea where I came up with it. Cool, let's kick some ice, okay. The new DVD has some bonus laughs too, deleted scenes, a gag reel, some behind the scenes footage. There is also a hilarious interview with Will, with uh, Amy Poehler and uh, Will Arnett, her oh, husband, they, who are also in the movie. They are, they, the movie is really, really funny. My other uh, favorite Will Ferrell is that little cameo he has in Starsky and Hutch. He's great. He's and, so great. Everything, a little ca he's one of those rare guys who can do a little cameo, steal the movie, or do a whole movie and you don't get sick of him. Yeah, That's yeah. really rare. Wedding Crashers and other ones he's so good in. Uh, what's the, here's another big sports movie coming out. Right. Semi-pro, the basketball movie, coming out next year. Cannot <laughs> wait. I think you're the finest living actor in the United States. I think your sons are living for that one. Yeah, yeah. maybe that's true. All right, as always, good to see you.